Welcome back, everyone! Ah, last time, it was another Phoenix Edgeworth episode, and we got to see, <coughs> excuse me, the Lord of the Land, and uh, all that stuff, and well, now we're going to be going on the more story quests and stuff, and, yeah, and what's that treasure chest over there? I don't know, I want it though. Give me that. Oh, it's a treat, it's amazing. Okay, you, what do you want? Let's stay the night. <coughs> Can I say no? I'll say no. Probably supposed to do that, but like, where else would I go if I don't do that? That's the real question. Where else would I, I go if I don't do that? we go to sleep. Oh, she's so pushy. She's all like, no. Not today, man. Not today. Okay, fine. Whatever. Let's go to sleep then. <coughs> to bed we go. We're gonna go to sleep right now. Oh, yes, we are. Yawn. Something gonna happen? Huh? Uh -huh. I hate camping out. Why is she camping out? Can't sleep? And you? I woke up randomly and couldn't fall back asleep. I'll go back to bed once I get tired again. Uh-huh. How's your shoulder? Huh? My shoulder? Oh, you mean where Dohalim smacked me? That feels a little off, but... Ah, it's fine. I'll manage. When he dislocated, doesn't look like it's gotten much better. I'll give you some more healing. Mmm, healing. Hey, don't waste our CP there, Shion. That should do the trick. Hey, yeah, you're right. That feels much better. Thanks, Shion. Imagine just battling with a bum shoulder the whole time. I've been thinking about what happened, and I was out of line. I know it takes more than a couple of bullets to bring down a lord. Forget about it. It's fine now. We all got out of there safe, and now you've healed me up too. We're going to take down all the lords. That was the promise we made, right? Yeah, I guess. But there was one other thing I wanted to ask you. Back at the palace, Law said you took that hit because you were worried about me. What was it you were worried about? That's... kinda hard to explain. Just tell me. He's worried about you getting hurt. Well, for one, if we lost you, I wouldn't be able to use the Blazing Sword anymore. Obviously. <sighs> But more important than that, I guess I just couldn't let you die. Honestly, I think that's all there is to it. There you go saying stuff like that again. You never learn, do you? But... Don't touch him! What are you doing? <sighs> anyway, it's necessary so we can fulfill our promise, right? What was she doing? R right. Glad you remember that much. Are you okay? <sighs> anyway, I think I'm gonna go to bed. Sleep well. What am I doing? Yeah, what are you doing? 
You were literally just about to touch him for no reason. I don't understand the logic about that one. I sent Kisara back to town under the cover of night. You do realize that she was searching for you all this time, right? I wonder why. She never could let things go, ever since we were kids. Maybe she was keeping an eye on you all because she thought you might cause trouble. I wouldn't be surprised. Do we need to be worried about her? She could easily report us. Even if we could have kept her here, it would have just raised more suspicion. Besides, I want to believe in her. More leaps of faith, huh? <laughs> Once we make our move, I'll send Zare to come fetch you again. Until then, stay close and try not to wander off too far. That makes sense, anyway. That makes sense. Guess we're waiting on word from the golf for the time being. Let's go out somewhere then. Twiddling my thumbs isn't my style. I'm going with you if you are. If I let you people go unsupervised, you'd probably wind up too far out for Magal's news to reach. Oh, come on. We're not children. <sighs> How about you make like the rest of the city and play nice for once? Um, uh, nah. Anyway, let's watch this skit on Kassara and Magal. I know he said it's necessary, but are we sure Magal's plan is a good idea? I mean, just because we came expecting a fight doesn't mean we have to have one. If Megal is right about Dohalim, we may have no reason to fight. Dohalim may have found a way to build a future where Danans and Renans can live alongside each other in peace. Yeah, I guess that may be true, but I'm still not sure about this. I just can't bring myself to trust a Renan. I really don't understand what's going through Megal's head. And as for him and Kisara... He said they were siblings, right? But things seem kind of awkward between them. I was an only child, so I never had to deal with that kind of stuff. Is their situation really that different from ours? That's... I mean, I guess not, but... The reality is that we don't know what's true and what isn't about Menencia yet. Until we know that for sure, let's not pass judgment one way or another, okay? Yeah, okay. That's fair enough, I guess. Man, Alphen, you just had to say that, huh? Not passing judgment? That, that's blasphemy. We have to pass judgment. Cats and owls, they're pretty cool, too. So, let me ask you something, Rinwa. Hoodle and Megal's cat are both animals native to Dana, right? Right. And Zoogles definitely aren't. Well, duh. Those things are too hideous to be from here. <laughs> Not that owls are any better. Hey. Hmm? <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah, ow! Ow! I take it back! I love owls! Owls are the best! I swear! Hoodle's pretty cute, I'll admit. But I've also been rather partial to cats, too. What about you, Xion? Huh? Who? Me? I... Uh... Well, I guess... I like them both. Hmm? Nothing. I didn't say anything. Either way... The more I think about it, I've never heard of anyone keeping Zoogles as pets. Is it because Renans only use them for practical purposes? Yeah, that could be the reason. They were originally created to serve as beasts of burden, so to speak. Hey, can you guys quit standing around and get him to leave me alone? I'm begging you! Too late for that. You already incurred Poodle's wrath. You cannot... <coughs> you cannot back out of this now. So we do got access to fast travel again, it looks like. I need to go back to a place. I, I ended up goofing up on something that I just found out about pretty recently. Was it over here? Yeah, it was over here. There's no fast travel point there. I'll have to go back over here. There was actually a spot that I realized uh, it got missed. Uh, thank you to Acheron, I believe, Find for pointing it out. Because if, if he didn't point this out, I, I would not have noticed this at all. But there was actually a secret passageway I did not go explore. And I want to go explore it because I want to explore things. <coughs> okay, whoa. My heart skipped a beat there. Oh no, don't skip a beat. How could you do that? That's not right. There's no way that's healthy, skipping beats just like that. Ugh. Oh boy, oh boy. 
At least going back shouldn't be too long. And the big thing, obviously, is just running around all these beasts, making sure they don't grab us and stuff. <coughs> Wouldn't hurt to grab some of the ore along the way, too, of course, like this, you know? Oh, mind that? Oh, yeah, a little extra ore. Mm -mm -mm, delicious. Uh, so you never know when you might need that, though. All right, ran right by it. I believe we wanted to go down this hole right here. There. Do you remember how I just, like, kind of ran over here and then, um, <coughs> there was an item right there? Well, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that, to be perfectly honest, but I think it only makes sense that we come back here and get this. I mean, maybe this might be obsolete equipment at this point, honestly. Zugul Shell Vest. Vest card out of Zugul Shells, the sense of safety and security it affords. Can make it tempting to retreat inside when danger lurks. This looks nice and tough. Well, I bet it does. I want to get those other monsters nearby, though. Oh well. Oh right. Break them, man. I mean, they're gonna die really easily. They're pretty underleveled enemies at this point, aren't we? Like level 20, <coughs> something like that. Oh no, she's not feeling good. Good. Oh, noise. Congratulations. Yeah, take them all on. Take on every last one of them. Done. Easy. Did you see? Sure did. Looks like he's in die still, though. Not that part. Oh no, what? I, I, I didn't realize what they said. This is where the boomies were. Why did I not remember boomies being here? I was like, oh my gosh, Boomy, new enemy. I've never seen this enemy before, but I guess they were in this cave and I just forgot? The real question is, how could I possibly forget, though? Blech. Oh, Roy, really? die, monster! Yeah, that's how you kill monsters. I like mid-battle quotes, those are kind of nice, honestly. We need more Tales games with mid-battle quotes. Whoa! Wait, is that one? I thought it was the last one, honestly. Now they're dead! We want that by a mile! Yeah! Got some nice stuff out of that, abyssal petal mass. <coughs> Absolutely delicious. Oh, there's more over here, I almost didn't even see that. Some bry more. <coughs> I see nothing else on the other side. All right, we can quick travel out of here now. Um, if I can remember how to quick travel, it is. Uh, that's how we quick travel. Yeah. I think the big question is: Do we want to try killing this monster again today? <coughs> There's no reason not to try it again, is there? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. Finally, if only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Oh no! Don't fly with the wind. I mean, the food is about to run out, so I think we should cook some defensive food. <coughs> Try to fight that dragon again, because that's gonna doesn't be. Doesn't seem like such a bad place to camp in. Yeah, there's lots of plants and wildlife here. I know, and it all looks freaking delicious too. Who said anything about eating them? I don't know. Also, we've seen that one before, so I guess I didn't need to let that play out. Uh, okay. Well, nothing new there. Cook for resting. Yes, please. What are we gonna do? Attack, heal, more dropped items. No HP, rare ore, obtained ore. Elemental attack. Fence up. <coughs> attack up. Fence up T. 10%, 5%. <coughs> so if I want more defense, this one would be the one to go for, the omelette. Keep that in mind. 16% attack boost would be kind of nice too, honestly. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, I guess our best option really is just defense up small then. Let's do it. Cook it. Okay, this is actually another thing I was told too. I, I believe this is also Akron that told me too. He said that... Um, 
Apparently, these conversations, I, I guess they're not random, apparently they refresh after every hour of gameplay, I guess, so... Well, I don't know if it's every hour of gameplay or just every hour you're on the field. Because I know, I mean, if you guys know, like, what happens with the food... Okay, it could be like 10 minutes, but you've seen, like, the food last a whole episode at times. It, clearly, it's not real time. It's only active walking time. So I wonder if that's the same thing with the whole talking to someone for sleeping thing, too. Makes me wonder. I'll see you again tomorrow. Yeah, just go to sleep. Not like it really matters, right? I mean, you could talk to someone, I guess, but does I it think matter? We've long enough. Let's keep moving. I actually don't remember who I talked to last time. I really don't. So whenever that does pop up again, I, I'm going to be a little bit clueless as to who to go for. <coughs> Hopefully not too clueless. We'll see. Anyway, these things are level 20. I forgot they were level 20, honestly. Oh, that does, man. <coughs> Took so much damage right there. Yeah, you just gotta be careful, man. Swallow dance! Oh, man. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. There we go. Right from an eagle dive. Whoa! Totally overkilled him there. <coughs> anyway, we remember what happened last time. Anyway, we gotta. All we gotta do is we just gotta go fight a bunch of monsters, and that's all we gotta do. We're gonna be done, and then, and then the, random, the dragon will basically just to show up. Probably will be fine. I mean, we are kind of getting beat up by these boars, so I'm not too optimistic at the moment. How many levels have we even gained since the last time we tried fighting? There's another reason why I can't be super optimistic about it. Yeah. Yeah, the law is on, man. The law is always on everything. Eat some of this! Looks like we won. Oh, level 20 and 21, huh? Everyone's about to get close to level 21, though. <coughs> what do you say we fight that shiny enemy? Shiny enemy? Why is it shining, though? I have a bad feeling about this. Um, is there a reason why it's shiny? <coughs> <coughs> I would totally do something about it if <coughs> if I had the ability to. I'll have my uses as soon as the charge up, though. There you go. Done. <coughs> Why is it shining though? Oh, just worth more score, huh? Don't worry, I've got your back. Did skip over an, a thingy, unfortunately, but you need to go to our next enemy, get that score up even higher. So I guess shiny enemies just give you more EXP. And, well, I, all I saw was more score, actually, so I don't know if it was more EXP, too. <coughs> Probably a safe assumption. Probably. Tomato, tomato, what are we doing? I don't really know. But seriously, was that our first shiny enemy? Oh, I really should have saved before. I hope this dragon doesn't show up right now. Knowing our luck, he's probably totally gonna show up. Die, monster! Ow! Don't do it! Eagle dive! Okay, let's return to the eagle dive spam. Whoa! I like eagle dive. That's guy's funny. Watch it! Alright, nice, GG! Nicely done. Not bad, not bad. Not up to not up to five yet though. Yeah, let's get this thing saved up before we actually progress further with this so. though. Oh, Rinwell's really far away from leveling up. I just realized that. <coughs> Was she dead at the end of a boss fight? Is that why she's so far behind? That's the only thing I could even imagine, anyway. Alright, prepare yourselves. It's time to die. It's not over until the fat lady sings, though. Oh, imagine getting the boss, though, and... Ooh. Imagine getting the boss, though, and fighting and just being like, Oh, hey, guess what? 
maximum bonus to EXP. That'd be pretty freaking awesome, honestly. <coughs> Boom, get him. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny... A bright and shiny mood. Hi, <coughs> hey, guess what? <laughs> guess what? I'm gonna kill every last one of you now. We're gonna force this dragon to spawn. There he is! Hello, Mr. Monster Hunter Dragon Dude, Rathalos. How, how are you doing? Oh, what? No. Okay, okay, okay. No! Oh, man. I really want to not die right now. <coughs> okay, you are... Oh, I forgot he's level 26, man. <coughs> Excuse me. Gosh. Uh, that one's the lowest on health, I guess. Come on. Bruh, he was right there about to die, too. Okay, whatever. Okay, they're all dead. Rinwell's dead? Oh, this is horrible. Why? Why does that have to happen? No, Shion. Oh, we're still not ready for fighting this, are we? That's why we save before doing this, because... Oh, we need to reload our save or something. Is he armored? No, he's not. Okay, Alvin, do it, man. Okay, boom. <coughs> get on the ground, man. Can't let those flying enemies get what they want. Oh, you gotta pay attention. Make sure he isn't gonna cast some magic. For real? For real, man? <coughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. A CP do be pretty garbage right now, that's for sure. Oops. Okay. Yeah, that'd be the time to really shoot him down, honestly. I'm just kind of... had bad timing the first time I did. Oh no, you crossed me. How could you, man? It's time for infinite attacking. What? Did I not hit him? How did I not hit him? I swear I hit him with at least one of those attacks. Ah, <coughs> uh, man. Okay, there we go. Counter attack. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Hopefully we... There we go. You know what? I mean, I guess I was going to use Rinwell, but I guess we don't need to use Rinwell now. Wait, does he have a weak point? <coughs> oh, he does. I didn't think he had a weak point for some reason. I feel kind of dumb. Alright, alright. <coughs> Just pay attention. If he goes flying, use Xion. If he starts casting an Asteroid, use Rinwell. Left for flying, right for Rinwell. Okay. Oop. Die, monster! <coughs> okay, no exposed weak points. There we go. Good job, Xion. <coughs> Full throttle! Nice! That's what I like to see, man. Why am I glowing anyway? Okay, well, I'm suddenly stopped glowing randomly, so that, that was interesting. Again, why was I glowing? I got no idea, honestly. We shall never know the answer to that question. <coughs> Alfin, that is like the most easy attack you could possibly dodge, and you somehow got hit by that and died. I, I'm, I'm disappointed in you. I'm very, very disappointed in you. I will just say that right now. Very, very disappointed. Oh, yes. Stay wide open, man. <coughs> alright, alright, alright. Oh. Wait, that was not the Astro Art? Oh, shoot me, man. Just shoot the heck in me. <coughs> Rinwell died? Are you kidding me, Rinwell? Come on, how hard was that to die? Oh, so sad, really. Just so friggin' sad. <coughs> I'm wasting too much. <coughs> Man, I've been having a big coughing fit again lately. I swear. Um, but, um... Yeah, I don't know. What the heck, man? Like, eh. 
missing all right here. I don't like it. Guys, don't you dare walk into this freaking fireball. I'm so disappointed to do that. Okay, now he's going to cast that. Just do that, please. That works all the same. Honestly, it works all the same. It doesn't really matter. What? How did our combo end from that? <coughs> That's so dumb. That's so dumb. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah. Ooh, no, no waiting for law. The law waits for no one. So therefore, no one should wait for law either. That's just that's just how it should be, you know. Whoa. Why do you win this with like minimal item usage? I mean, two orange gels and a light bottle. Pretty worse. Frick! What am I doing? What am I doing? Ah, <coughs> oh, jeez. Please don't. Did I miss? I just let him miss right there. Oh gosh, help, help, help. We're good, we're good, we're good! Okay, oh. Yeah, just, just go after me. Oh, wait, 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 okay, perfect time! Yeah, let's go! <coughs> wait, did he not get hit by that? Are you kidding me? <coughs> I tried to ambush him because he was in the air, and it's like, no. <coughs> Come on, finish him, finish him. Boom, take this! Woo, boy! I'll accept that, I'll accept that. Minimal item usage there, you know? Astral Flower, plus 10 C max CP. Knowing when we're in too deep is necessary to survive. We may tend to push ourselves a little too hard. Sometimes, sometimes. We're fine, though. We're fine. So anyway, that's done. So we can turn that in. <coughs> Was that over waiting for Zara? Oh. Okay, that's the main story over there. So we'll hit up that place and then we'll get our butts over to the story area, I guess. What? No! Oh, I'm glad I am to see you. Mm -hmm. Why? What's up? I have something to give to Sara. Hmm. She's a little hard to reach, so if you wouldn't mind, uh... Hmm, alright, because you'd have to approach the palace to see her. Sure, we'll see it gets to her somehow. Thanks, I really appreciate it. That's for the big plan, just wait for Zara. She'll deliver a message when it's right. time. Got it, we'll make sure to prepare in the meantime. Sorry to keep adding to your plate. Old bracelet, an old bracelet filled with a lot of memories and cherished by its owner for many, many years. Wasn't expecting to randomly run into We've that. We've reached though. our destination. Okay, but before we do that, we're gonna go tune in this quest already. Da, 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 da. Where are you? What? Oh, just you, I guess. How's this? Welcome back. You will take care of that pesky Zugu flying around for yeah. me. You bet. I won't be giving you any more problems. You did. Dang, that's seriously impressive. <laughs> In that case, the bounty here is all yours. Go on, take it. <laughs> now I wish there were more Zugos with big bounties attached for us to get rich off of. I'm sure if you ever did something bad, you'd get a huge bounty in your head real quick, kid. Right. That never happens. I'll take responsibility and bring him down myself. You can send the money to whomever he ends up causing trouble. Hey. Stop acting like I'm gonna turn to a criminal. Well, anyway, because you folk, the highway's much, that much safer to traverse now, so thanks. Nice, good amount of gold and SP there. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Law Bounty Hunter. He's max AG, ooh, we want that. Reduced awakening requirements, reduce the number of attacks needed to activate awakening. It's easier to trigger for you to trigger over limit. Ooh. Reduce the damage inflicted up from using counter edge. I want both of those, those sound nice. There you go. As for what's next. What can we ever learn next? We already had our learn spread. Okay. <laughs> Here's a boost gauge when the battle begins. Hmm. I was going to dodge once while in midair. Not damage dealt to enemies in midair. Also, applies to floating enemies. Yeah, why not? It is our specialty, so I don't see why not give her that. 
can we do? Healing circle, yeah. I mean, eh. The thing I'm hesitant about is whether we're all going to be in the healing circle at the same time or not. And how much, how good of a heal is it compared to first aid, for example? Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll just go ahead and learn it, I guess, but I am a little hesitant for reasons. <coughs> Art casting mobility. Uh -huh. oh, she got some more defense, that's nice. Age you restored upon enemy defeat. Ten resistance. Sharpness, you. Alright, let's just get that and get the ten resistance. Not bad, not bad. Alfin. Need some more skills, maybe. Devastation could be a thing, perhaps. Increase weak point damage. Do that. I mean, more AG on a critical hit sounds nice. I don't think critical hits happen too often, but still. You get a few more, a little more AG out of some crits, and can't complain about that anyway. All right, we do be looking good though. Do be looking good. Auto saving. I saw that. Let's stay at the. That's not the end. Let's stay at the inn. Inn. We just ran right through that guy. Immersion broken. Whoops. I bet they didn't expect that to happen. Now, did Looks they? Like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Um. Let's see. Can I make any new weapons? Fair enough, fair enough. And I don't think you have anything. Alright, let's just go in the inn. Before resting, nope. I mean, our food's gonna stay active, right? Thanks for staying here, you're always welcome to come back. Yep, it does stay active, that's good stuff. Alright, since we haven't really done too much story stuff, I do want to maybe do at least a little bit of stuff here, so let's just go make this episode a little bit longer than normal. We'll go to... Oh yeah, I thought it was supposed to be over here. But I warped over here, so me warping over here was enough to trigger that? That's so weird. Well, I guess we're gonna do that. Quick travel. For no reason. Be nice if it was really quick, but you know, since we gotta warp like five feet, obviously longer loading times for that, of course. They can't comprehend you loading or traveling such a short distance. I totally get it. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Oh, good. There you are. You people again. You shouldn't be loitering around here. Don't force me to arrest you. Think we've established you couldn't even if you wanted to. What? Law, quit it. We're not here to argue with you, Captain. We've got something to deliver to you. Here. Uh, that's... That bracelet. Is that my brother's? Why are you giving this to me? I can't help but wonder what my brother is planning with all this. I'm not sure. That said, I think he was being sincere about everything he told us back there. I've met a lot of good people fighting to liberate Dana. And I got the same feeling from Egal that I did from all of them. I think we can trust him. I think you're a good person, too. Otherwise, you would report on us and the Gold Dust Cats, right? What makes you think I won't? Because Megal trusts you. And that's enough for me to trust you, too. You're a pretty unusual guy, Alfin. Do you go around acting like that everywhere you liberate people? What do you mean? Sorry, forget it. It's nothing. Okay. Anyway, I think we'll find out more about what Megal's planning soon enough. All we can do now is wait and see what happens. I guess so. True. Wait at the vicinity. I guess we just wait for things to kick off. Yeah. Looks like we'll be staying at the inn another night. Another night at the inn. Hmm. Which is kind of funny considering we just stayed a night at the inn. But, uh. Yeah. I guess we could head on over there. But. But, 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 but. Wait at the inn until someone contacts you. Well. 
We'll do that. But, 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 we will go ahead and do that on the next exciting episode, everyone. I didn't say I was going to let it get too much longer, but, I mean, it's a little bit longer, you know? Like, yay. We, we, we got some plot progression, technically, you know? Oh, boy. But anyway, anyway. Let me know what you thought about that boss that we fought today. We fought in the beat. It wasn't even that bad. Only two orange gels in a life bottle. Could, not the most resource-intensive boss ever, for sure. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot, lot worse. Obviously, we want to save our orange shells and life bottles for when the real trouble begins, of course. So hopefully that won't be happening anytime soon, but at least we got another 10 CP on our board thanks to that boss, so... Some good stuff, but... Anyway, tomorrow we're gonna rest at the end and we're gonna just, uh, see what the plan is, I guess, and... Are we actually gonna liberate this place even though they are happy? I mean... Obviously, if they're losing all their astral energy and getting turned to metallic stone or whatever they're getting turned into... Obviously, that's not a good thing. We gotta figure out a way to stop that. <coughs> are we gonna do it through negotiation, or are we gonna do it through force? That is the real question. But anyway, everyone, I'll see you later. Have a good one, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, everyone. You've reached the end of this video, but before we go for the day, I just like to give a quick shout out to the tier four and five channel members: Phoenix Edgeworth, Acheron X2. Menthi and Meister Papala, thank you all for being awesome and supporting the channel. If you too would like to also get your name shouted out at the end of each video and live stream, shoutouts are available for all tier 4 and 5 channel members. I hope you all have an awesome day. I'll see you all later.